Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Expeditions Rome. Before we get started on anything else, let's go ahead and dispatch our Legion. All is well, I hope. Have them go uh, do a few things. Well, a thing. Then we can get started on some other things while uh, the time passes and uh, that happens. And that uh, is taken care of. Okay. Alright, so that's the army returning. Uh, don't know exactly where it's going back to, but let's see. I'm not sure exactly what I need, but we got three things here. Two here. And two here. So I think we want to go take this one first. Nope, 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 nope. Wrong thing. Nope. Alright, I'll deal with... There we go. Alright, enemy army strength is reduced. Maybe they pulled some uh, troops off to, uh, to do some stuff. They have artillery, cavalry, and infantry. Go ahead and attack them. And while that is happening, let's go ahead and... Oh, can I not actually do anything in the camp while they're... Do oh, poop. <laughs> I didn't know that. So you can't do stuff in the camp while the uh, the Legion is out attacking. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense? Alright. Well, shucks. Alright, they are going up there. Doesn't look like I can see how many uh, troops they have. Okay, 2290. Yeah, okay, they did get troops back. That's fine. Legia Wictrix attacks Berber army in the Anti-Pyrgus region. Let's go ahead and engage in the battle. Okay, so we have infantry specialization at minus one, so legion manpower minus 50. That's unfortunate. Um, I do prefer this guy. Uh, resource gain, 15%. Also, he has all of these. Uh, it might be that I need to switch over to someone else to get these things uh, learned. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. But for now, okay, so this is, we're already going to receive a loot reward common. Okay, minus three on that, oof. How do you wish to deploy? Okay, let's see, we've got uh, Wedge, which we're already suffering enemy manpower minus 50. Um, although I'd rather not get that. We got enemy manpower minus 125. I, I think that might be a good. We'll go with that. With wedge, I do need some higher tier cards. That might be what I want to make first. They've they've uh, become a little bit more useful, shall we say? The men are close enough to engage. Holy cow, minus four. Alright, I gotta I gotta offset that somehow.
Yeah, let's go ahead and go with square formation then. it more interesting. The weather is changing for the worse. All right, the weather is changing. Um All right, so we got minus 1 on logistics regardless now. Uh I do So Divide and Conquer will get, uh, will neutralize the uh, cavalry bonus that they have. I think that this is better. Neutralize their uh, cavalry bonus and their uh, infantry bonus. Nope, oh, they lost uh, one of those guys. The battle is won. Minus five to that. Rude. All right, so give chase. We can plunder. All right, this means uh, we're not having the missing Legionari. Expilati quia maxima. Now I haven't seen the uh, the special uh, cards that we made. I wonder if they changed that. And I need to go make some more. I bet we do. All right, 95 denarii and 19 slaves. They have retreated. Uh, 167 spoils of war. 34 regular salvage. 14 good salvage. Okay. All right, so we're going to need to uh, pacify. But let's go ahead and get up to the uh, the trade post. You pass through a small trading post along the road, a collection of tents around a well where travelers and merchants meet to exchange goods and rumors. While pausing to let your horses rest, you and your companions drift through the little camp to see if and see if there is any interesting information to pick up. Well, the well of rumors is dried up today, it seems, but you do find a man selling a haphazard collection of Berber and Roman equipment. He says that he scavenged it from the site of a small engagement between local bandits and Roman soldiers. Uh, this equipment is property of Rome. Hand it over. I will have you executed for banditry. I will buy the lot for 100 denarii. That's fine. And greedy, mildly disapprove, honest, approve. I got a berserker club. Probably going to be some more. Seems very happy with this deal. Uh, large coin purse. Wow. Light armor rings, sword blade, shield boss. I may have made my money back. <laughs> uh, regular salvage, light lorica hamata, packed lunch, packed lunch. Seems very happy with this deal. As soon as you've counted out the coins, he unlocks a chest with the ill-gotten loot. Then he wishes you good luck and heads home. I think he didn't notice that there was, uh, money in there. <laughs> Nero, look at them go. As we pass in the night. Or day, as a case may be. So we have two pacify- three pacify region things. 
Oh, right. Okay. I gift the local leaders with riches beyond their imagination. Okay. All right. We'll uh, wait till we get up here. Let's go ahead and enter. So when they're off uh, attacking something, they'll they'll uh, disband the uh, the camp. So that's when I, pardon me, that's when I can't do things around uh, the camp. Okay, that is okay. I should come over here and see what we can make. So that's all tactics. Let's go with formation. Engagement. Cavalry in circle. Square formation. Phantom army gambit. It's very good. But I kind of want to like use that on like the the last one. Yeah, those special ones, uh, they're gone. They have taken they seem to have taken them out of the game. Which is disappointing, because they were pretty good. Right, you can get uh, upgraded. Okay. Um, I like walk your shots. All right, so I got some items. I'll look at these uh, like in between episodes and stuff. There's the Idol of Mars, a stern idol, a uh, stern iron statuette of Mars, Gradius. I think we already read that. Okay. Legate, we have the resources needed to improve your tent. Yeah, I'm not sure that I want to do that just yet. Let's see, upgrades right now, so we can do infirmary, Balneum, Legatus tent. Uh, what was it that I wanted? All right, so factory is one, so I have to go through some of this, and forge is one. Um, I need two iron. We're going to get another iron. Does that require iron? That does not. Okay. So if I get this, I should be able to get to each of these, which one, I'm going to need another iron. Um, that is going to be a tough decision. But I think that this is a good thing to build right now. It's going to take all of my lumber and one of my tanneries. But we got the upgraded Legatus tent. Okay. So I need another lumber and I can get the factory. Um, and I need another iron. Okay, so let's pop back out to, well, first of all, Come up here and talk you to you. You went there last night when we were drinking with the gladiator. The Legatus Praetorian. From Mauritania. Yeah, Bestia Tabat. A seemingly endless font of amazing stories, let me tell you. Ask him about the arena sometime. You won't be bored. <laughs> Good night. Now that we've begun taking control of this land, things are bound to get a bit complicated. This isn't Asia Minor, after all. Mm -hmm, indeed. Africa was under Roman control before, but the natives will not appreciate the more firm hand that wartime requires. 
I'm afraid you may once more need to take care of certain situations personally. What kind of situations are you talking about? There are so many tribes in this region of Africa. I don't even think we have enough numbers to count them. The Legion is strong, but it's a bit like Sextus Hammer. Sometimes you need smaller force to take care of delicate situations. Alright, sounds like uh, the responsibility of a Kenturio. It is good practice to delegate tasks, indeed. However, I believe pacifying certain factions would require a speculator's touch. Alright, surely Lun Lunya can silence any uh, grumbling amongst the natives. Not everyone agrees with Lunya's decision to side with you. The major chieftains can be brought to heel on the battlefield, but some people will continue to rebel. What's even worse is if someone tries to become the hero of the people. These small rebellions must be swiftly crushed. Uh, but I don't have time for this. Of course not. That wasn't what I was suggesting. However, like in Greece, I think you should send someone you trust if the Legion fails to pacify a certain territory completely. Alright, I understand. Let me know if uh, such a situation arises. Remember, Legate. Until we take care of any such disturbances, we won't be able to control any territory we have captured. Our way, Legate. Uh, how is morale among the Legionari? I have never served with more proud or fierce men. They are eager for conquest and utterly loyal to your command. Right, give me a report on the Legion's manpower. We're nearly at full strength. We could use a few more recruits to fill the ranks, but we're ready to complete whatever task you set for us. With a little more experience, I believe Legio Weetrix will soon be the finest fighting force ever to serve Rome. Be well, Turius. Does Dayanara have anything to say? To see you always brightens my day. Ah. Yeah, we've got some of the Berbers on our side, at least. In tribal society like this, that is best you can hope for. I don't know about Lunya, though. Keep eye on her. She has look in her eye. Like she knows something we do not. Right, I will definitely uh, keep that in mind. Carry on. Alright, I got three free replenishes. So, first of all, we will take that for free. Take that for free. And take that for free. Okay. Uh, I think we're okay on the rest. We'll get... Uh, get the guy back in there and do some more free replenishes. Yulia? How are you holding up? Uh, do you think the Court of Heaven can serve as an outpost? It's lucky we arrived during this festival, or whatever it is. We have all of the important people in one place. But keep in mind, this is their land. The Court of Heaven is an uncontrolled hub of activity. There's no telling who comes and goes and what their intentions are. Wally? I feel like that may have been before that, uh... From before that <laughs> event. I'm ready to go when it is time. Some of the people here seem sympathetic to our cause, at least. As long as the Berbers are fighting each other, it will be easier for us to win. But do not forget, sympathy is temporary. Fear is eternal. I mean, it really isn't. Uh, that's not true. Sympathy can be eternal, too. Perhaps, but it is voluntary. You cannot force sympathy, whereas fear is yours to command. Until the one time it doesn't uh, manifest. What do you make of this Berber Legion? They fought well when they're against us. As long as they fight just as well alongside us, I'll be glad to have them. I, for one, don't like it. The Legion is for Romans. What do Nazimonians care about serving Rome? Well, I mean, we can always make them Roman. You know, I have nothing but love and respect for our Yulia Kalida. But do you wonder where she's been over the past few years? I have some she ideas. She seemed to vanish into the world as soon as we returned to Rome. She reappeared only once Lucullus had need of her. Uh, it's clear she is unhappy about how women are expected to live in the city. True enough. But she has powerful allies in your family and Lucullus. Not to mention the storied legacy of the Yulia family itself. If she really wanted to live differently... Surely she did not have to avoid the city completely. I trust her, as far as it is reasonable to trust such a talented spy. But there's something she isn't telling us. That's fine. How can I help you? 
Uh, it seems like we have made some unexpected allies here. I have to say I'm impressed by their court of heaven. The meeting they held looked like a primitive image of our Senate. Yet this new agreement we have reached worries me. If you fight the wars of others, be certain that you stand to benefit in proportion to your sacrifices. I'm not too worried. All right, let's go uh, see what Cinderos has to say. Domina. So eventually get up here. Uh, I wonder why some of these elders are in our favor. As always, it is a matter of priorities. They favor us as long as our actions align with their goals. That will not always be the case. That's true. The most intelligent of enemies will try to befriend you. It is the honest ones who openly oppose their foes. An honest enemy is virtuous, and therefore, fallible. What would you Greeks know of virtue? Wow! Uh, you think honesty makes someone predictable? Most certainly. And predictability is the worst trait a commander can display in times of war. Yeah, let us talk later. Alright, let's go make a few things. First thing, let's make this a banner of Mars. Craft one of those. So we got Greek fire jars. Uh, I only have the one naphtha. Uh, range six hexes, one hex radius. So that would get a pretty good area for a fire. So let's go ahead and make one of those. Uh, let's see, anti-venom. Mithridate applies immunized and intoxicated. Immunized to allies removes poisoned and grants 100% poison resistance for uh, two turns. Mithridates Megas is rumored to have quite a fascination, quite the fascination with poisons. One of his greatest achievements was the development of this universal antidote against such attacks. Let's see, Molsum. I don't know if I have any of these. There isn't a list of some. I think I have some. I can make a smoke bomb with a Nacolite. I think I'll hold off. Vinegar bandage. We'll make one. Oh, I used up my vinegar. So I can't make Posca. Um, okay. I'll go ahead and hold off on those. Uh, no. Actually, because I goofed up something. Electrum Kopesh. So I can make all of these, and they'll just be done. Doesn't matter. That kind of thing. Um... Let's see, we did get some level 2 stuff, but it's not pristine. Like, that's all pristine. That's really what I want. Yeah, like, I can make good Lorica, heavy Lorica Hamata, but it's just good. I, I do wish that there was a, a thing where you could, like, Sort and, and be like hide level one, uh, hide uh, anything other than pristine, that kind of thing. So I think we'll leave that as is. So I can get extra piercing damage two, which is one to two. There's extra bludgeoning damage as well. But I will take a look at some of those later. I don't think we can do upgrades, because, yeah, we need a, a foundry. I will assign someone. Alright. <clears throat> so you are going to get on the Legatus tent. And... Do, do, do. You 
get on there. Okay. Now, I think we had a special person that we could hire here. Please. It Special recruit. This recruit will remain available until the end of your campaign. All right. Um, aesthetic, first aid, cautious. So he's got logistics specialization, cavalry specialization, working on artillery specialization. Um... All right, so he is a uh, Triarius. I'd be losing this guy. Who does have the, uh, the medic, and this other guy does not. Um, hmm. I can hire him as a Praetorian or as a Centurion. He's got good skills. He does not have a unique portrait. This guy is hesitant, so you know what? I'm going to dismiss him. And he is a special recruit, so he will stay there. Uh, we are going to be losing an artillery specialization, but this guy should have will eventually get that. And he's cautious, which is... Eh. We'll go with that. All right. Holy cow, three uh, cavalry specializations. Two artillery specializations. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. That's something to consider. Excuse me. That is something to consider. Okay, so we've got the uh, sword being made... leave. I should still be close enough that I can take a look at uh, should still be able to look at uh, um, the upgrades. Okay, outpost management. So, I want preferably the factory, which means I need another lumber mill. There is a lumber mill here. Um, I'm going to need two iron. There's iron down here. Okay, good. So we can get both of those. All right. That's actually a quarry, so that's actually for roads. All right. Um, very good. Okay, so to queue up what we have coming up, We've got uh, gift local leaders with riches beyond their imagination. That will be a 200 denarii. We've got deploy your legion, take control of uh, local camps by force. Costs 10 morale or experience or whatever that was. And region's food supplies are running low. 100 food. Yeah, I can get more food pretty easily.
I would rather do the food. Meanwhile, I did forget to visit uh, the merchant. Uh, but I think we'll do that in the next episode. Um, I have some money. There's some stuff that I, I can probably trade for. Um, before we go on to the next uh, region, I will probably want to get a bit of, uh, you know, some Legion missions done, that kind of thing. But we'll see how it goes for next time. See you then, everyone.